Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will discuss about Fourier transform of DC signal. You can observe here we have DC signal and this DC signal that is having magnitude A and this magnitude that is having time limit which is there from minus infinite to plus infinite. So if you talk about signal X of T then that is having magnitude A where T is ranging from minus infinite to plus infinite, right? Now for this signal, we need to understand Fourier transform. See here we have signal that is constant throughout the time. Throughout the time means range of time is there from minus infinity to plus infinity. So for this Fourier transform, first of all, you need to understand Dirichlet's condition for existence of Fourier transform. Let me explain that condition over here. As per Dirichlet's condition, given signal that should be integrable means here when you integrate this signal x of t over the time from minus infinite to plus infinite, then it should be having finite value means it should be lower than infinite, right? So this condition that should get followed to get Fourier transform of any signal. So if you identify integration of this signal, then here I'll be integrating this signal over the limit of minus infinite to plus infinite. So here x of t that is having magnitude constant a over the limit of minus infinite to plus infinite. Here a is constant. So integration of one is small t, which is having limit from minus infinite to plus infinite. So you can say here t is infinite minus minus infinite means plus infinite. So 2a into infinite means it is infinite. As this signal's integration is infinite, you cannot identify Fourier transform of this DC signal that one can say. Now if you observe this signal, so that signal is having range from minus infinite to plus infinite. In my earlier videos, I have explained you Fourier transform of rectangular pulse. You can observe, I have explained Fourier transform of rectangular pulse and that I have derived that is tau A with sampling function of omega tau by 2. Here, if you observe the value of tau, so that is ranging from minus tau by 2 to plus tau by 2. So that is what rectangular pulse, right? With DC signal, this value of tau that is going towards infinity, right? In that case, this will become DC signal. If this tau value that is going towards infinity, in that case, you can say given rectangular pulse that is DC signal. So here, let me write this again. See for rectangular pulse, Fourier transform x of omega that is a tau into sampling function of omega tau by 2. Here we have range of rectangular pulse that is there from minus tau by 2 to plus tau by 2, right? Now for DC signal, this range of tau that is going towards infinity. So for DC signal, this tau that is going towards infinity. So based on that, you can say X of omega, which is Fourier transform of DC signal that will be having limit that is having tau that is going towards infinity and X of omega of rectangular pulse means that will be A tau into sampling function of omega tau by 2. So by this calculation also, one can understand Fourier transform of DC signal. But as I have told you, as per Dirichlet's condition, if signal's integration is infinity, then one cannot identify Fourier transform of that signal. Here it is infinity, so we cannot identify it. And that one can understand over here also. If you place tau is equals to infinity over here, then x of omega, that will become infinity that doesn't give you any Fourier transform, right? So this is what you need to understand for Fourier transform of DC signal. I hope you have enjoyed it.
स्टिल इफ यू हैव एनी कंफ्यूजन जस्ट प्लेस दैट इन कमेंट सेक्शन आल बी हैप्पी टू हेल्प यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो